Today's story is about a British physicist whose innovative contributions have left an indelible mark on the realm of physics, specifically in the exploration of electricity and magnetism. He is most renowned for the discovery of the electron and his extensive investigations into the characteristics of cathode rays. Our today's scientist is Joseph John Thompson. J.J. Thompson was born on December 18, 1856, in Manchester, England. Thompson exhibited exceptional scientific aptitude during his early education in private schools. Admitted to Owens College at just 14, he delved into physical research under the guidance of Professor Balfour Stewart, publishing his first scientific paper on contact electrification. Despite initial plans for an engineering apprenticeship, his father's death in 1873 altered Thomson's course. He then transitioned to Trinity College, Cambridge, earning a Bachelor of Arts in Mathematics in 1880. By 1881, he became a Fellow of Trinity College and attained his Master of Arts degree with the Adams Prize in 1883. Between 1888 and 1904, Thomson made several studies and published numerous mathematical and experimental research on electromagnetism. He suggested that a moving charge substance may experience mass gain. In addition, he wrote, Applications of Dynamics to Physics and Chemistry in 1888, Notes on Recent Researches in Electricity and Magnetism in 1893, and Elements of the Mathematical Theory of Electricity and Magnetism in 1895. In 1897, Thomson conducted a series of experiments with cathode rays in vacuum tubes. He observed that these rays could be deflected by electric and magnetic fields, and he measured the charge-to-mass ratio of the particles in the rays. Through these experiments, he concluded that cathode rays were made up of negatively charged particles, which he named corpuscles. These particles are now known as electrons. In the same year, Thomson introduced the plum pudding model of the atom based on his electron discovery. This model suggested atoms as a positively charged pudding with electrons embedded like plums. While this model was later replaced by the nuclear model, it laid the foundation for our understanding of atomic structure. Thomson's pioneering work earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1906, specifically for his contributions to the conduction of electricity in gases and his exploration of electric discharge in gases. He uncovered the first evidence for isotopes of a stable, non-radioactive element in 1913 while researching the composition of canal rays, or in other words, positive ions. Thompson's experiments utilized the cathode ray tube, a pivotal device that became fundamental in the evolution of television technology. In 1918, Thompson was appointed Master of Trinity College in Cambridge, where he stayed in this position until he died. He passed away on August 30, 1940, at the age of 83, in Cambridge, England. Thompson's legacy continued through his son, George Paget Thompson, who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1937 for his research on the diffraction of electrons by crystals. Thompson's pioneering work and research in atomic physics during the late 19th and early 20th have laid the groundwork for subsequent advancements in the field, and hence, it had a profound impact on our comprehension understanding of the atom. That was the brief biography of the British physicist Joseph John Thompson. We hope that you enjoyed it. More stories will be covered, so ensure that you're subscribed and click the bell icon. Please help us by liking, commenting, and sharing. This encourages us to deliver more. Wait for the next video on the Electricity and Magnetism channel, and we'll see you in the next one.